Hello everybody. Today we have something slightly special and yeah, slightly different as well. Today we're going to have a look at Aeon Collection by Heriosity, which is currently on sale this month, where you can get $140 off until the February the 28th. Uh, the retail price is normally $399, but you can get it for the special one-off fee of $259. So after you watch this video, head over to Heriosity.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So, what is Aeon Collection? Well, what you can hear in the background is one of the menu suites. And this is from the Rhythmic, because it comes in two parts. I'll just stop for now. It comes in two parts. You've got the Melodic and you've got the Rhythmic. The Rhythmic one comes, as you can see, in uh, suites, menu suites, single loops and three loop combos. Basically, one key does it all, so... And if you combine them, and then you can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with it. Um, you can see under here, at the bottom here, it shows you that these keys aren't actually used if you don't do anything. Blue keys are where your, where your little phrases are. The red keys, now these are wonderful little things. Uh, if you just keep an eye on these little dots up here. I'm get the right key. There we go. So I need to change page to the TFX. You see that brings on distortion. That does sends it lo-fi. That sends it filter. That sends the panner on. And that sends the pitch mod on. So in action. That's distortion. Makes a bit more lo-fi. That's a panner. It's all those with stereo speakers listening or headphones will hear it more. Pitch mod. Subtle changes to the sound. There we go. So these are sort of like time effects, these. So if we just go back to the main page, in the uh, rhythmic section you've got delay, modulation, reverb and distortion. These are sort of like constantly on as opposed to these which you can switch on and off as you want to basically. These just there automatically and stay on. And the only way to turn it off is obviously the, the, uh, flicking the switch. You then have this bit there, it tells you the loop in the middle, what's, uh, what loop you actually play. So that's a Metatron, if I press the other one, that's a sim bass pedal. Sadly, you can't actually change those samples. They are, they are stuck, but you can do an awful lot with them, like you can change the attack, the decay, the sustain, and release of the actual sound, so... And the sad thing is, as well, that it affects the whole thing, as in the whole menu. It's not per sample, because this Aeon collection is, is, I think it's a few years old. It came out a couple of years ago. I remember picking this up that and then, and like in the later modules, like we've got Ascend and Damage and stuff too, things like that. They are per sample. Uh, you can change the tactic decay, sustain, whereas this one is just static across the whole menu suite. Uh, but the good thing about it is you can add Punish which we all know what that does. And this one has something called twist, which also, well, it twists the audio. And you can change the tone. So there's an awful lot you can do with just sort of playing one, one, one sample on the menu suite. Um, then you've got your EQ and your filters you can play with there. And in the advanced performance, this is the one where you can change your, if I just select a preset menu sweetheart one. And on here you can actually chain them together. So what will happen when it plays a pattern, it will. <laughs> step 
to it, the pattern. So whatever you do here, and that's on velocity and the length. And then you've got another one for the loop. And then you've got different uh, menus here. And as you see, it just steps through them. Um, so you just drag the arrows to how many steps you want. So if you want three, two, one step, all the way up to eight. So you can sequence together and stitch together eight different sequences, which is quite interesting. Um, so that is rhythmic. I'll just play something from the single loop category. So I want this one to replace. A single loop, so I forgot three loop combos. These are pretty interesting. So, tunnel thumpers there, cyber pedals. tonal and you can actually use them as sort of like background things so I was just thinking what I'm going to do next and this is so some more menu suites oh that's a bit loud just turn down the volume slap that one they're not taking you out of the seat Really, quite a lot of interesting sort of one finger sounds, really. So, this is great for sort of like when you do film and cue music for backdrops. So you can do that, get your backdrop, wank some damage to with it, and then build from there. Put your orchestral strings on, put your uh, horns and brahms and stuff like that. Now I'll just quickly move on to um, melodic. Hey, on melodic, I'll just take a uh, bass synth tank. Let's have a go with that one. Again, the interface very familiar. What we've exactly the same layout. And this performance tab that I was on about before this advanced performance thing, you can actually get from here Same so you can do it from both sides you can actually just click that if you already program one in and then you don't have to flick that, sweat, that page to get it and these come with a few more different uh, presets and we'll chain them together and we'll have That's how the arpeggio part works for it. Um, you can punish the sound as well. Let's just crack on with playing with a few instruments here. Sultry pulses. Now, sultry is, should we say, it's a hint to sort of uh, a medieval instrument. The Salter, which had a bit of a drone to it. And that's what you've got in the background if you hold the note and it just cycles. Uh, 
Um, strings legato combo tweak. That's a nice mouthful. So that's the hybrid section. Now we've got organics. Uh, let's go for some ethnic uh, tank drums. That's your ethnics. Um, let's go for strings and combos, piano swells. As I said earlier, the top end where it's these red bits here are the ones that brings in the time FX sections. That's quite an interesting effect with that. Quite like that filter. Because these then come with a sequence. So if you go into the advanced, you can then program a sequence into the actual filter. So when I turn the filter on, it'll play that sequence and it's free running in the sense it'll just keep on running uh, until you turn it off really. So, which is quite funky. And if I go back, you can do the same for the distortion. So the distortion has a free running. So great lower less distortion less distortion more distortion so it's it's yeah it's quite deep programming you can go into this to do your own sounds so what else we'll go for that's, that's a bit of organic let's go for some synth sounds cloud nine sounded quite like that one. Uh, Meta thump. This is probably going to be a bassy. Yeah, peaceful pulses. Uh, certainly hit the mark. So we heard Cloud Nine before. This is a uh, arpeggiated version of it. Ah, interesting. And anything that says MW in brackets afterwards, these are ones that the meld wheel is programming in to do something to the sound. In this one, it's changing the decay. And if we go to phasey wheels, what are we doing with this one? Changing the filter LFO, so it's one of these where you go in and then you got to try and work out what on earth it does. Um, saw the aggression, let's try this one. So that's 
changing the filter LFO again, uh, the frequency of it. So there we go. This is the Aeon Collection by Heaviosity. It's currently $140 off the full price of $399, so you can pick it up for $259. Uh, so all you need to do is head over to the website by using the link in the description below. And thank you for watching this far, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe, like the video, always helps the algorithm, helps this channel get discovered, helps me to be able to be in a position to give you more run-throughs and overviews of different sample libraries, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.